Welcome back. So, we were discussing jointly continuous random variables. So, we said x and y are jointly continuous if uh, the joint law p x y is absolutely continuous with respect to Lebesgue measure on R 2 right. So, if you take any 0 area set Borel set on R 2 it should have probability 0 under the map x comma y right. So, then we invoked radon Nikodin theorem and said that this uh, p x y the probability law can be written as the integral of some non negative measurable function with respect to the Lebesgue measure uh, lambda right. And from there it followed that the joint C D F can also be written as an integral namely f x y of x y is equal to minus infinity to x minus infinity to y f x comma y of s comma t d t d s. Right? And this f x y is the little f x y is what we interpreted as the joint p d f joint probability density function. Again, uh, there are many textbooks, many authors who take this as the definition of a jointly continuous random as joint jointly continuous random variable. Grimmett Schwarzenegger says if x and y are jointly continuous, if the CDF has this kind of a form for some function, which is also correct, which is equivalent to the definition we gave, all right. Any questions on this? So, next we said that if you want to look at the marginal right if you want to look at just let us say f x of x we can just send y to infinity in this right. So, you will just put y equal to infinity here and then what you will end up with is uh, it look look like the integral of. So, this is f x of x right. So, this will look like the integral minus infinity to infinity f x y of s t and you are integrating out the y right uh, d s and then you in you have that. So, that will be some non negative function of s right and since then you basically you have established that the c d f the marginal c d f of x can be written as minus integral minus infinity to infinity in minus infinity to x. Uh, some function of s d s which means that x should be a continuous random variable right. So, this and we can identify that as the density of f x of I should say s I think right f x of s right. So, that was the logic. So, so what this essentially says is that if x and y are jointly continuous then x and y are separately marginally also continuous random variables the converse of course, is not true right we gave an example yesterday. So, with me so far. So, next I want to deal with independence of of jointly continuous random variables So, if x and y are jointly continuous and independent. Uh, so, from independence I know that uh, if x comma y are jointly continuous and independent random variables then so, we know this f x comma y of x comma y must be equal to f x of x f y of y. This is because of independence right. Now, I can use the fact that 
x and y are jointly continuous. So, I can write this is for all x y I can write this is this is true for all x y. minus infinity to x minus infinity to y little f x y of s comma t d t d s is equal to integral minus infinity to x f x of s d s times integral minus infinity to t well minus infinity to y f y of y y of t d t. How do I get this? So, I know that the joint C D F can be written like that, right and this marginal. So, if x and y are jointly continuous, x and y are separately marginally continuous. So, I can write the marginal CDFs as also as integrals, correct. Then I will have. So, let me just. So, I can write rewrite this integral as the this guy as integral minus infinity x, integral minus infinity y. F x of s times f y of t f y of t uh, d t d s and all this is true for all x y. Correct? I am just writing this product as a double integral here. Okay. So, what can you say now looking at this equation you have a certain integral right you have in integral over the semi infinite rectangle of some function of two variables which is equal to integral over the same semi infinite rectangle that function right and this is true not for some particular x y this is true for every x y in R correct. So, uh, we will see later that so when this holds whenever this kind of relation holds for all x y if the integrals are equal no matter what set you integrate over then it must be the case that the integrands the function you integrate must be equal almost everywhere. Okay. So, this function must be equal to that function except possibly on a set of Lebesgue measure 0. Okay. So, this is this we will see formally later, but this essentially implies that. So, f x comma y of s comma t is equal to f x of s uh, f y of t <coughs> for all s t in R except possibly on a set of Lebesgue measure 0. Okay. So, this is called uh, so I mean this is called when an equality holds everywhere except possibly on a set of Lebesgue measure 0 you call this almost everywhere A E the equality holds almost everywhere on R 2. Okay, A E just like A S almost surely means except possibly on a set of probability 0 same uh, similar kind of a terminology is followed here. Are there any questions? So, if you have jointly continuous random variables which are independent then the joint probability density function factorizes into the product of the marginal PDFs. The converse is also true by the way if you have if you have this relation almost everywhere then you can show that 
x and y are independent with me very very easy Uh, no, so what I am saying essentially is that so you have one integral of uh, let us say some star d lambda that is what you have is equal to integral of some dagger d lambda okay, over the same set and this is true no matter what set you integrate over then you can say that star and dagger are equal see star and dagger are two functions. Okay. So, the star and dagger are equal except perhaps on a set of lambda measure 0 whatever measure this lambda is in this case it is Lebesgue measure this is something we will see later. Okay. The integrands must agree except possibly on a set of lambda measure 0 whatever measure you are integrating with here it is just Lebesgue measure. Okay. In particular what it means is that this relation does not have to hold everywhere it can fail to hold on set say a countable set or some Cantor set or something like that something of 0 measure. So, is this because of trade on and coding derivative it does not like it is not uh, differentiable everywhere. No, no, no uh, that, that is not the point. So, I am talking about the see all I know is that these two integrals are certainly equal right. So, normally if you say I mean even in Riemann integration right if you say integral a to b f x dx is equal to integral a to b g x dx and this is true for all a b okay, then you can in fact say that f x and g x are equal except maybe on some countable set of points or maybe finite set of points right. But with Lebesgue measure Lebesgue integral you can even say that uh, so changing so you know this the changing the functional value at a few points does not change the integral right that is what that is where this is coming from right. If I just redefine the function at one point the integral does not change right. So, if I say two integrals of two functions are equal the functions may not be equal everywhere right they can disagree on let us say a few points right. See, we will prove this later. Okay, what I just said, we will prove later when we do integration. Any other questions? No, it's not because of that. So there is no this f of x need not be continuous. PDF need not be continuous, right? Alright, any other questions? Okay, so just like so, uh, so just like we did it for uh, discrete uh, random variables. So we define we define joint PMF and then went on to define conditional PMF. Remember, so we fixed the value y equal to y and asked for the PMF of x is equal to x given that y equal to y. <coughs> we will do the same thing now except we run into a little bit of rough weather okay what i mean so if if you want to do a conditional so if you want to define a conditional pdf so the main so the main roadblock is the following <coughs> you want to condition on y taking the value little y right but you cannot do that because singletons have zero probability for continuous random variables right so it's not as easy as the case where x and y were both discrete there there was no problem right it was an elementary definition so you want to define something like this so we want to define something like this want to define <coughs> Uh, f x given y of x given y as 
So, we want this to be roughly probability of x less than or equal to little x given y equal to y, right. This is what, so this is if this is my conditional, this is not my conditional PDF, this is my conditional CDF let us say, right. So, this will be, so I want the probability that x is less than or equal to x given that y has taken some value, right. Suppose you have already seen y, right, you want to talk about the conditional distribution of x. So, the main problem here is that, but y equal to y has. 0 probability. Right. So, you cannot, it is not so easy to do this, you cannot even, so even writing this is a meaningless thing, right. I only, so you can keep this under like some kind of, a, this is highly informal statement, right. I want, I want to define something like this, but I cannot, so what is on the right side of the conditioning must be a strictly positive positive probability event, right, but I cannot do this, right. This is something I made very clear when we define conditional probability. So, what do we do now, right. So, let us say, you know, here x in everything I am going to say x and y are jointly continuous, okay. So, the only thing we can do is to condition on some very small set which has not 0 probability, but close to 0 probability. Right. So, what we will do is the next best thing instead of condition on y equal to y which we cannot do, I will condition on y lying in the in the interval y y plus delta or y minus delta y plus delta it does not matter right some tiny interval and then I will send delta to 0 ok. That is the next best thing I can do right. So, here is the motivation for how. So, finally, I am going to define a conditional PDF as some definition which I will give, but I am going to motivate it with a very informal calculation okay, of what it, it is supposed to be, right. So, let us say motivation. So, uh, so this is this you get, right. So, let us condition on y lying in y comma y plus delta for small delta ok. So, then you will have this right. So, then you will have right. So, this will be the conditional CDF given that y is capital Y is close to little y, not necessarily equal to little y, but close to little y ok. Well, ideally I guess I should say that right ok this is well defined assuming that assuming that y takes values in y y plus delta with positive probability right. So, this is a, so if this has positive probability this is well defined ok. <coughs> so, this will this is like probability of a given b which is probability of a intersection b over probability of b right. So, this is like See, I am not proving anything, this is an informal calculation, ok. Do not, so do not take this too seriously. Finally, I will motive use this calculation to motivate my definition. So, x comma, so ok, that is fine, and then y less than or equal to y, uh, y less than or equal to little y plus delta over. right mm. 
<coughs> so can I write can I write these guys as in ter this I can write in terms of the joint right and this guy I can write in terms of marginal of y right. So, what will this be? So, if I, if I so the denominator is much easier I will write f y of y plus delta minus f y of y right. If this is positive this is well defined and what is on top is uh, it will be the joint right it will be the joint of let me write this properly f x y of x comma y plus delta minus f x comma y of x comma y right. No, so now what if I send delta to 0, so let us say now ok. So, now this looks very uh, this invites me to del divide both numerator and denominator by delta right very inviting right. So, if I do that so roughly what will this look like this will look like ha, this will look like the pdf right. So, roughly so I mean as it is this is roughly small f y of y times delta right approximately and this will be this will be this will be like a partial derivative on y right x is fixed correct. So, you will look so you will get something that looks like the partial derivative with respect to y of the joint divided by the marginal p d f right. So, this is what is going to motivate my definition now ok. So, so far it is just informal computation now I am going to give a definition. So, definition you do not say y right I mean it is just what it is it is a definition right and that is the informal motivation for it the so definition. the conditional C d f of x given y is defined as after all so this is the definition ok. So, the denominator is exactly what you predicted and the numerator is actually also exactly what you predicted right you are you are just integrating over the x variable right the x variable of the joint density ok and this is exactly what this is if you send delta to 0 right that is what this is correct. fine, but this is the definition. So, the one approach you can take is that this is my definition and do not ask any further questions right. So, you can verify that this is this has the properties of a CDF in the sense that I mean if you put x is equal to infinity you will get 1, x is equal to minus infinity you will get 0, it has right continuity etcetera right. But what I informally wrote down there is what motivates this definition right you essentially what you do is condition on y lying in some interval ok small interval 
and so if this is the conditional CDF then I can write a conditional PDF. conditional PDF of all this x given y is defined as little f x given y of x given y is equal to. So, this see this is like a CDF and it is looking like integral minus infinity x of something right. So, what is inside must be my conditional PDF right. So, it is a very natural definition. x comma y over f y of y fine. So, it has a fairly intuitive form finally. So, although this was a bit of a problem to define it correct I mean define it precisely it you are back to the form where you have the joint p d f over the marginal p d f which is which is happy news which is good news right which is. So, this is exactly similar to what we had for the discrete case except in the discrete case what is on top and what is on bottom were actually probabilities. Here these are not probabilities these are densities right these are densities which have nothing to do with probabilities right only if you integrate them you get probabilities and this is defined whenever the density is non zero correct. Then finally, I will just make one more definition. So, the conditional probability of an event A given y is defined as see so far I have defined <coughs> so far I have defined the probability. So, this is the joint C D F right. So, this is the probability of the event that capital X is less than or equal to little x given y equal to y. Now, I am talking about some generic event in the sample space it may not be x less than or equal to x it may be something more complicated. So, it is defined as follows probability that. So, I am looking at the event x belongs to A right this A, a is uh, so, this is so this is well this is not really an event in the sense that so what should I say this is some uh, probability of some Borel set actually. So, maybe I should not <coughs> I should not say it is an event. So, let me write this down and then let me think about what to say there probability of x belongs to a given y equal to y is defined as integral over a f x given y of given y d x ok which is again nothing but the indicator of a <coughs> so I should probably say the conditional probability of uh, the event x belongs to A, right? This A is some Borel set. It's a Borel set on R. So this I can write as f x given y of
is i a of x. Okay, this is the definition of. So, I here the CDF only gives me the event that x is less than or equal to x, but I can now talk about x lying in any Borel set, right? If you want, if you do not like A, you call it B, A is just a Borel set, okay. It is given by the integral over that Borel set of my conditional PDF, which is again defined to be the integral over the whole space, whole real line of the indicator function times the PDF. Okay, this is also by definition. <coughs> okay, any questions on this? So, let me do an example. Okay, so, I will do some very simple example. So, let us say so, let us take a following distribution. So, this is so, let me define the joint PDF. Yes. Yeah, so this f x given y is exactly this. So, you can put this guy here joint over marginal, right. This we have already defined. See, this is like a density, conditional density. So, you integrate you integrate the conditional density over any Borel set, you will get the conditional probability that is it right. Okay, so, the example I am talking about, so let me just make some example where, so I have some uniform distribution in this. Okay, so, let us say that is 2, that is 1. Okay, so, in this triangle, so my here I will have, I want a uniform density on this, which means f x y of x y must be equal to 1 is not it, right. The area of this triangle is 2, uh, yeah, so it should be 1, right, for x y lying in this, inside this triangle and 0 everywhere else. So, that is why, so I have described my, what is this joint probability density function, okay. Now, I want to define, so now I want to obtain the marginal of x, marginal of y and conditionals. Okay. So, if you want to, so if you want to, uh, if you want to let us say get f y of y, okay. f y of y will be the integral of uh, f x y of x y, which is simply 1, right. Uh, 1, you have to integrate with respect to the other variable which is x, right. So, this will be 1 dx and x ranges from, so x ranges from 0 to uh, uh, 2 minus 2 x or what 2, 2 minus 2 y, right. So, what is this line? This line is 2 x plus y equal to 1 or the other way around, ha, 2 x plus y equal to 1, this is the line, right. So, if I fix, so I am fixing an, uh, I am integrating x, right, fixing a y, I am integrating over x. So, here x should vary from 0 to 1 minus 2 x, no, 2 x plus y equal to 2, you are right, 2 x plus y equal to 2. So, which means I should vary my y from Sorry, x from 0 to 2 minus 2 x, correct. 
<laughs> so I should sorry, sorry. So yes, yes, yes. So I should marry. So I, this should be something in y, right? You are right. You are right. Sorry. So what should this be then? Two minus y divided by two. One minus y over two. Agreed. Fine. With me. So is this is correct. See, I don't this this kind of stuff. I don't do it correctly often. So uh, so this is equal to simply 1 minus y over 2 okay and y very what is the range of y now again 0 to 2 this is for uh, 0 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 2 so that's your marginal pdf so how does the marginal pdf look <coughs> So, if you plot this guy, uh, if I am plotting f y of y, it varies from 0 to 2, the y varies from 0 to 2 and at uh, y equal to 0, I have 1, then I have like that, right, is not it. So, now I am plotting, so this is a plot, see this is simply the x y plane, but this is a plot of the density of y and you can see that this is a valid density because integrates to 1. Okay. So, why do you think, so it, it looks as though, so y is more likely to be closer to 0, right, I mean that is because there is, even if you fix, uh, so whatever, uh, so if you, if you just look at this y there is more mass coming in from here right closer to 0 which is why it is looking like this okay well and good uh, marginal of x can also be easily computed so what is fx of x the same thing integral 1 dy i have to integrate now i have to do it the other way right 2 minus 2x 0 to ah so now okay so i was computing f x back then. So, okay, so that should be 2 minus 2 x good over x in 0 1 right. So, that looks like that is 1 and at x is equal to 0 I am at 2 then I will go down like that, right. That is my uh, that this is my marginal PDF of x. Now, from this you can ask are x and y independent? See, if you multiply the marginals 2 minus 2 x and 1 minus y over 2, you do not get the joint. So, you they are not independent x and y are dependent. Okay. <coughs> so, now suppose you want to compute conditional p d f. Uh, so, I have f x given y of x given little y is equal to f x y of x y over ok <coughs> and this should be equal to. So, this is 1 whenever it is if x y is in the appropriate the triangle this is 1 divided by f y of y which I computed as 1 minus y over 2 right. So, that is simply 2 over 2 minus y and this is valid for <coughs> for what range 
see why you see here why is some fixed number right and x this is for x varying from x in uh, x in 0 to so this is for x belonging in 0 to uh, 2 minus so 1 minus y over 2 is not it is that right. Yeah, correct. Yes or no? Did I make a mistake? Fx y so Fx y x comma y is equal to one. That's my joint. All right, and I'm dividing by my marginal of y, which is defined for. So y is between zero and two. Right, but I am fixing a y. All right, so I fixed a y. I fixed a y, and so my x should so my x can only be between zero and uh, one minus y over two. Correct. So what kind of a distribution is this? Yeah. So, this is like a uniform right is not it. So, this is like a uniform this is conditionally uniform yes or no. Fine. So, see remember this y is a constant now you fixed y it is not a function right. So, this is a so although so the f so I want to make this perfectly clear what you are computing is actually a function of x on the right side there is see of course this will contain this will be dependent on y right because you are fixing a y the answer will be a function of y also but this is actually a function of the function you are computing is that of x right and there is no x here which means x is only in the constraint x is implicit so this is constant in x correct so i hope i didn't make a mistake i think this is actually correct right so you have uh, you have a uniform distribution in 1 minus y over 2 if you fix a y so does that make sense all right so what this is saying is if you fix a little y y plus delta here and look at how x is distributed it is in fact distributed uniformly and that makes sense because in that little rectangle or whatever that little strip you are after all the original thing is constant right original f x y the joint p d f is constant. So, what you expect and say that strip is should be constant and it is constant except you have to know what constant it is right it is that constant. Okay. Similarly, you can figure out the opposite opposite curve y given x. So, that will be 1 over that guy and that is also uniform right correct. So, everybody is with me that this is a uniform random variable conditionally uniform the intuition is just what I said just to blow up that figure. So, you have that figure. So, you have 2 1 x y sorry so this is y x you have f x comma y equal to some constant 1 right. Now, we are fixing a y and looking at the little strip right you are looking at that little strip y y plus delta and you are looking at how x is distributed on that strip of course, to and you are going to divide by f y right. So, 
So, on that strip it must be uniform because what you started with is a uniform in the first place correct. Are there any questions? So, I can do any number of examples now right you can give yourself some homework take x uh, any joint distribution you want and compute all these conditional PMFs and <coughs> marginal PMF PDFs sorry conditional PDFs. Okay, if there are no more questions I will stop.